This is wine for cats. If cat videos made the internet popular, <laughs> drunk cat videos take it to a whole other level. They're drunk. This guy makes cats drunk. Cheers. Thank you. And now he makes your dogs drunk too. Well, sort of. How come? So we can socialize with our pets just like they're humans. Some people will yell at me and say, you're an idiot. Why are you trying to make animals human? I'm sorry, I'm not the one making animals humans. You guys are. Brandon Zavala makes pet wines and beers. And last year's sales topped a half million dollars. Look, I'll be honest, on a hot day, I give my dog a little beer. So sue me, but she doesn't want my beer. Instead, she prefers her own, a so-called dog beer named Mutt Light, developed by this 33-year-old entrepreneur in Golden, Colorado. See, Brandon Zavala worked for a pet food company when he noticed something was missing. I always thought it was kind of um, hilarious that people wouldn't buy anything but just hard treats for their dogs. And beverage markets for humans has been growing exponentially in the past 10 to 15 years. And I thought that would be kind of fun and interesting to kind of create something for pets. What I noticed too is that wine culture in America is actually pretty big. And then specifically for cat owners, I've noticed that not quite all of them, but a large percentage of cat owners love wine. In 2015, he charged about $4,000 on his credit card and started Apollo Peak Pet Wines, named after his older cat, Apollo. Now, there is no actual alcohol in the wines, just filtered water, natural food coloring, and the secret ingredient, catnip. Oh my God. <laughs> and if you can make cats look like they're drinking something and roll over as if they're acting drunk, people are gonna love it, so. <laughs> Zavala named his wines Cat Bernay and Pinot Meow. He then moved on to dogs, making beverages based on chicken broth with anise powder, adding health benefits like glucosamine. Again, no actual alcohol. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, it tastes terrible. Mm, super sour. <laughs> In 2016, Zavala landed his first big order from a company called Meow Box. He was written up in the Huffington Post, and he ended up on Shark Tank. It went viral, basically, and um, I had never known what going viral or, or going viral in the news or anything like that was like. But all of a sudden, our, our store was just nonstop, and we were doing, on average, probably fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in a, in a day. Did you, you know? have the capacity to meet this? Not at all. Not at all. But I wasn't what, the type of person that was going to say, "We need to stop these orders now. We don't have capacity to build them." I was one of those people that said, "Doesn't matter. We'll figure out a way. Let's take these sales. This is a business now." 2016 sales were four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, jumping to five hundred and sixty grand last year. But Brandon Zavala made mistakes, and he learned hard lessons like bringing in friends who wanted to help, but who didn't deliver. It was at that point where I kind of slowly said, this is probably a bad idea because they're not working, they just wanted a piece of the pie. So I started kind of cutting people off in the early day and said, you're not part of us, you know, you're not working enough, I'm sorry, but uh, Was that hard? No deal. Was it weird? It's extremely hard, you lose a friendship. Perhaps strangest of all in this success story is that Apollo, the cat Zavala named the company after, doesn't even like the beverage as much as his other cat does. So why name the company after Apollo? Apollo disappeared for two years um, in my life. I thought he was dead. And for me, it's like he survived and I want this business to survive. So, you know, I figured why not name it after a cat that's been out in the wild and, and, and who knows what he's been through, uh, returned and is living a nice life now, you know.